While WikiLeaks was dishing dirt on the CIA's hacking tools, you might have missed Airbus's modular flying cars and the shyest robot on six wheels. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where we can't stop watching this matchup of a helicopter's rotors with a camera's shutter. What is this magic? In other flying vehicle news, Airbus showed off an autonomous and modular flying concept car called Pop-Up at the Geneva Auto Show. Created with help from a tile design, the auto can switch between typical four-wheeled ground transport and much less typical quadrocopter flight modes. The pop-up will determine which form by looking at the location provided to its AI system. The car will then select between ground or air travel based on available routes and your habits. The ultimate goal is to create a fleet of pop-ups that can be called on demand and to help ease traffic congestion by putting more of it in the sky. Hold on! You've got a better chance of running into a replicant in the middle of California's Palm Desert than you do crossing paths with the six-wheeled Shybot from Italian artist Norma Jean. That's because, like my weekends, its sole purpose is avoiding human contact. For six days this February, the Shybot tooled around the Coachella Valley, running and hiding from, well, everyone. It even managed to evade UAVs sent to film its week-long adventure. Hashtag life goals. And now, TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you. WikiLeaks claims to have the CIA's hacking toolkit. Bentley built its first all-electric touring car. IBM built an atomic hard drive. New research suggests that potatoes could be grown on Mars. And a burger joint in Pasadena has hired on its first robotic short-order cook. Happy birthday, Dad.